Good day, students. Today, we want to look at local biotic communities in Nigeria. It can as well be put as local biomes in Nigeria. In the last class, you were able to understand biome to be the largest community of living organisms. And uh, in Nigeria, we basically have two types of biomes. I mean, broadly classified as we have, we have savanna, 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 and the uh, and, uh, forest in Nigeria. We have savanna and forest broadly in Nigeria. Now, let me take it from forest vegetation. Under forest, we have mangrove, mangrove forest, then we have rainforest. These are the two types we have in Nigeria. Down south of Nigeria, in areas like rivers, cross river, uh, cross river, we have, we have mangrove forest there. In mangrove forest, you will see a waterlogged area of land inhabited by plants and animals. The common plant species in mangrove are red and white mangroves. These are the common species of plants you can find there. And uh, you can find animals like uh, kingfisher, crabs, snakes. These are animals in the mangrove. You know, mangrove is a swampy region consisting of fresh water there. Don't forget, the place is water lodged. And if a place is water lodged, you expect it to be deficient in oxygen. Meaning that uh, plants that are found there, they have area roots. Area. Area roots. The meaning of this is that their roots are extended out of the soil surface so that they can tap oxygen for survival. That is a mangrove for you. And uh, it is found where? It is found in Aquaibon, Delta, Rivers, Cross River, Baesa, Baesa. And uh, sometimes we can also get it in Lagos State. Lagos is a we have water, big water bodies in Lagos, ocean and sea. Okay? Now, let's move to forest. Forest zone. In forest zone, it is also a form of forest vegetation. Here, we have tall trees. Tall trees growing in forest. And the, the trees in the forest are in layers or strata. We have the top strata, we have the middle strata or middle layer, then we have the bottom, the bottom layers. All these are found in the forest. In the forest, again, the rainfall is usually more than 200 centimeter. 200 centimeter per annum in a year. If you look at mangrove, this is mangrove, down south, down south. Followed by, this is the, this is the rainforest now, the freshwater zone. This is a freshwater zone, an extension of the mangrove. Then, follow it, we have the freshwater, uh, we have the rainforest, I mean, the rainforest in which I said we have layers of trees. In the rainforest, animals find there include climbers. Animals that climb trees like squirrel, monkeys, and the other animals, and some other animals too, 
We have rodents in the in the forest as well. Notes in the forest, we have annual rainfall of more than 200 centimeters. While in the mangrove, the annual rainfall is between 200 to 250 centimeter. 250 centimeter in the in the mangrove mangrove forest. Or you can simply say above 250. Why for the rainforest we have above 200 per year? The common plant species found in the rainforest are Iroko, Obeche, Mayogani, Mayogani, Ara, and the rest. These are the common plant species. And I've talked about the animal species, including spirel. Um, Spirel, we have also snakes, birds. Now I made mention of climbers. Climbers. Now, the trees in the forest are usually deciduous. 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 Meaning that during dry season, they shed their leaves. They shed their leaves and then the leaves come up again during when the conditions are favorable for them during rainfall. Now, the seed, the seeds of the of the plants can fall down at their base and begin to grow. That is why we have strata in the forest like that. The trees of the mangrove are evergreen. They are evergreen. They never shed their leaves during dry season. Where can we find rainforest? We can find rainforest in states like Ogun. We can see this in Ogun states. We can see it also in Lagos states, Baesa, Anambra, Akwaibon, etc., in Nigeria. This is a rainforest zone. The next one is we move to savannah now. And you know, we have three savannas which are Guinea, Sudan, and Sahel savannah. The first one, the Guinea savannah. This is the largest of all biotic communities in Nigeria. I repeat, this is the largest of all biotic communities in Nigeria. In this, we have states like Oshun, state of Oshun here, Oshun, we have, <coughs> we have Oyo, Oyo, Kwara, you can see this is a Guinea savanna here, we have uh, Kwara, Benue, Pletu, Pletu, uh, where, where else, Benue, Pletu, Oyo, Oshun, this is where we can find the Guinea savanna, including Ekiti, Eboi. These are the states in which we can find Guinea savanna, and it occupies a very large mass, land mass in Nigeria. The next one is Sudan savanna. We are getting to the north, northern side now. Where can we find Sudan savanna? You can see it in states like Kano, Kaduna, Kaduna states, Kano states. Um, where else? You can see it in Taraba, Taraba states, Jobe, Anambra. These are places you can find Sudan savanna. Before I move to Sudan savanna proper, what are the things that characterize savanna generally? We have grasses, tall grasses in the savanna, and then we have less trees, fewer trees compared with the rainforest habitat. And we have little rainfall in the savanna compared with the forest and the mangrove zones. In the Guinea savanna now, we have small trees and shrubs, shrubs in the Guinea savanna. What are the 
animal species we can find in the Guinea savanna. We can see lion, leopard, hyena, and some other animals, deer, in the Guinea savanna. And the annual rainfall in the Guinea savanna is between 150 to 100 centimeters. We have 150 to 100 centimeter annual rainfall. This is less than that's less than 200 centimeter annual rainfall. That is, is that is it for a Kano state. You know, we can see Guinea savanna in Kano. We can as well find Sudan savanna in Kano states, in Kano states, in Kaduna states. Casina states, among other ones. The trees of the savanna, they, they either have thick bark to prevent them against desiccation, excessive loss of water in them. Some of them have particles that protect the bark of the, of the trees. Now, the Plants found in the savanna, they have narrow leaves, small leaves. Even some of them, they, they, they have pill like leaves in order to survive the conditions of the savanna, in order to reduce the rate of water loss in them, because these narrow leaves have few stomata. And you know, it is via the stomata that water are lost water is lost into the atmosphere. These are adaptations for survival in plants of the savanna, in plants of the savanna. Okay, now we move to Sahel savanna. Sahel savanna. In Sahel savanna, we have scanty trees, and scanty grasses. The grasses are not as much as those of Guinea and the Sudan savanna. And Sahel savanna is found in extreme north of Nigeria, in states like Kastina, Kastina, Sokoto, Borno, Yobe, and uh, a part of Anambra. This is where we can find Sahel savanna in Nigeria. The temperature is very high there, and the annual rainfall is less than 50 centimeters per annum there. Animals there, they develop different adaptations for them to be able to cope with the conditions there. Most animals there are nocturnal. They are not downer. Nocturnal animals are animals that are active during the night. In order to reduce the rate of water loss in them due to sweating, sweating, and then when they exhale. In exhale air, we have water vapor. To reduce this, they exhibit nocturnal life. life. Why some other animals here hibernate? Due to this extreme condition, they will now go to a shady place and remain motionless. They will not perform activities in order to conserve the food in them. And you know, the savannas, they are not virtuous. What I mean by virtuous is that uh, we don't have many food types in the savanna because uh, we have, we have we don't have a diverse lives in the savanna. These are ways animals in the savanna escape adverse conditions. Escape adverse conditions. I've mentioned this that we have no rainfall, we have high temperature there. The plants that are found there, they have narrow leaves to reduce water loss in them. Some of them have extensive taproot system to be able to dig deep into the soil so that they can tap water 
from the from the soil. They also have cuticle that protect the bark and the leaves in order to reduce the rate of water loss 